Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, a nice weather pattern to finish out the week. Some chilly nights, but mild afternoons. But changes, though, on the way this weekend. Next front, rain chance coming Saturday. And then back to the winter bluster on Sunday. First off, though, let's take a look at our drone shot today. Coming up and oh, there she be. Power Doppler 3 still spinning and scanning the skies. And if we don't see rain, sometimes we're seeing birds or cane soot today, but today just clear skies, cloud deck. Here we go. That's off looking off to the east. That's that cloud deck that was here during the course of the morning made for a dreary start to the day and it was chilly, but the sun came out. Temperatures got into the lower 60s this afternoon. So here's the big picture across the lower 48. We have this weak upper level disturbance that's helping to push the clouds off to the east. That's heading southeast. Upstream, it's a little bit of a chaotic flow, but we have energy here in the Pacific Northwest is going to be diving southward. That's going to bring our next front and be the next big weather maker for the eastern U.S. A significant snowstorm shaping up. And guess what? Winter precip may not be too far away from our part of the world come Sunday morning as well. But don't get your hopes up here. Not going to happen. Meanwhile, we do have winter storm watches uh, posted for portions of the Midwest. Good snows here. And then uh, by this time tomorrow, we're going to start to see the winter storm watches uh, developing uh, for portions of the eastern U.S. Uh, close to home, though, for us, cloud cover moving on out, fair skies moving in. We have another round of clouds that will get here by daybreak tomorrow. And again, uh, the uh, model capturing that it will move on through overnight tonight. So we start off with clear skies, chilly conditions, upper 30s to lower 40s, but lots of sunshine tomorrow. And more importantly, we're going to see a west to west north wind, and that's kind of a descending wind coming off of higher elevations in Texas, the Edwards uh, Plateau here, and that usually allows for temperatures to warm up nicely. So upper 60s, maybe even 70s or lower 70s for high for some tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but with uh, that westerly or northwesterly wind, we're going to be chilly again going into tomorrow night. We'll favor lower 40s versus upper 30s, lower 40s that we're going to see tonight. And then moving into Friday, a nice and mild day. Temperatures getting into the lower 70s with generally fair skies. Here comes that next weather maker. Here comes the frontal boundary. Scattered showers developing as we head into Saturday. Maybe a thunderstorm as well. And then we're going to see some rain chances uh, right along this front and then maybe even uh, shortly behind it as we get into Saturday afternoon and evening. And here's the GFS model showing action through midday Saturday. Temperatures near 70 early Saturday, but then then they'll be dropping into the lower to mid 30s. And look at this. Uh, the computer model is still uh, showing some what we call wraparound moisture, maybe some light snow flurries or light sleet pellets for the northeastern part of the state, edging as far south. And this is the farthest south we've seen it so far on the GFS model, as far south as maybe Senlao over toward Macomb and the easternmost parishes of Louisiana. But don't get too excited. This is not looking like anything that would get us excited about any kind of precipitation. It's just telling us the model tells us that if there were to be precipitation, it could be in the form of snow or sleet, but it's going to be north of Acadiana, so it's going to be a cold Sunday. We barely get out of the 40s Sunday, Sunday night uh, into Monday morning. We'll head into the lower 30s and then Monday staying cool, but we'll see a gradual moderating trend going into next week. For tonight, though, temperatures in the upper 30s, 37 uh, Opelousasville, Platte, 39 Oakdale, Again, just near or slightly above the frost zone. May want to take care of the tender vegetation just in case tonight. Upper 30s to lower 40s, I-10 quarter. We'll go 40 in Lafayette and upper 30s to lower 40s down along the coast as well. Nice warm up tomorrow. As we indicated with those westerly winds, we're going to get close to 70 for a high. Tomorrow night here, those lower to mid 40s. And then going into your Friday, lower 70s. So a nice finish to the week, but changes obviously on tap for the weekend. So 40 the low tonight. Normal is 43, so pretty close to where we should be this time of year. Normal high should be 62. We're going to beat that for tomorrow with wall-to-wall -wall sunshine after that chilly start. Certainly a mild finish. As we head into the weekend, we're looking at chilly nights and mild afternoons through the weekend, but here we go as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Again, mild early on Saturday, but then turning cooler. Scattered showers, maybe a few thunderstorms, but we're not looking at severe 
severe weather for Saturday. Then we move into Sunday as back to a winter with gusty northwest winds. Wind chills during the day Sunday will be in the 30s and wind chills come Monday morning in the mid to upper 20s at the very least. So a little bit of everything there with some mild afternoons ahead, but a shot of winter coming back and thus the way it goes in the month of January.